So if you're like me, you're looking for the best core PvP builds that you can find for each of the professions, and you stumbled across the Ranger. There's pets, there's longbows, there's bleeding. There's so much going on that it could actually make a man go crazy. Well, that's where I come in. I'm going to show you a core ranger PVP build that is still incredibly effective today, even against some of the end of dragons elite specs. Let's go ahead and start out with our weapons. So the weapons we are running are the great sword and the longbow combination. The main source of our damage is going to come from the longbow. However, we can do a lot of follow up damage with a maul or a swoop maul combo. The greatsword can also block all attacks for a short duration and then give you a knockback following it up. The Hilt Bash is probably one of the best CCs as not only can it daze or stun the target, but if your Maul ability is on cooldown, it will refresh it. Swoop is your main source of mobility as far as this build is concerned, and it is also excellent when engaging, as the Swoop ability covers a great amount of distance in a short period of time. The main source of damage coming from the Greatsword abilities are going to be Maul. This ability not only deals a significant amount of damage, but it also applies vulnerability and then triggers one of our trade line effects, Attack of Opportunity. Looking at the longbow abilities, your main source of damage is going to be Rapid Fire, which deals an excessive amount of damage over a very short period of time while also applying vulnerability on each one of the connecting hits. The longbow also has Hunter Shot, which grants a bit of stealth for a short duration. However, be warned, if this ability misses, i.e. the target blocks it or it misses completely due to blindness, you will not turn invisible. Point Blank Shot is a fantastic gap extender between you and your target. Utilizing this ability interrupts the target and pushes them back a great distance, even further if they're closer. Barrage is an excellent volley ability that deals damage at great range, even greater than the 1200, which is the max range for most classes. The reason this ability is so great is because you can target it literally everywhere, even on targets above you. Your long range shot, which is your basic auto attack, is going to deal some significant damage at a great distance. But keep in mind this is just for steady damage as we are looking for attacks of opportunity. As far as your pets are concerned, you're going to run the Raven or the Juvenile Owl. These pets have great mobility as well as also offering some type of crowd control or crowd controlling effect, like Blinding Slash, which blinds a target on their next outgoing attack and also deals some pretty significant damage. Or Chilling Slash, which deals significant damage as well, but also chills the target, reducing movement speed and skill recharge. Now let's go ahead and talk about skills. As far as your skills are concerned, we are going to focus on having a number of survival skills as well as some pet commands. Your heal skill is going to be Troll Ungend. This heals for a great amount of health over 8 seconds. Protect Me is an instant defensive ability that gains protection as well as a barrier and also break stuns. Stuns or any other crowd control effects such as knockback, daze, or knockdown will instantly be cleared when using an ability that has break stuns. Lightning Reflexes is a fantastic stun break as well as an evade, as this ability will break you out of any snares that you might run into, i.e. crippling or immobilizing effects. Quickening Zephyr is a great movement speed ability that breaks stuns but also allows all of your abilities to be cast at half the duration. Quickening Zephyr also breaks stuns just like the other abilities, however it applies quickness and super speed. Quickness makes all of your skills and abilities animate and deal damage faster, while super speed increases your movement to basically max for a short duration. Strength of the Pack is a fantastic DPS buff as this grants you might when you or your pet deal damage. You also get fury and stability as well as swiftness on this ability. I'll take special note at stability as this prevents any knockdowns or pulls or launches or stuns. This basically means that you cannot be crowd controlled while this effect is active. Let's go ahead and look at trade lines. Trade lines, you are running marksmanship, beast mastery, and wilderness survival. Marksmanship focuses heavily on the opening strike and attack of opportunity that is tied to the trade line. Your opening strike applies vulnerability to the first target that you hit during combat. Clarion Bond allows you to cast Lesser Call of the Wild when you swap pets. 
This grants you fury, might, and swiftness, as well as weakening any targets that are around you. Weakness is important because it reduces the amount of endurance regeneration that the target has, as well as increasing a chance of targets only dealing glancing hits versus full hits. Moment of Clarity stacks onto that opening strike mentality as it gains an attack of opportunity for you and your pet. When you stun or daze a target, you will inflict a longer duration CC as well as offering an attack that deals 25% increased damage. This means that your ability Hilt Bash, which will daze or stun the target, guarantees that the next maul that you will use, even during combat, will deal 25% more damage. Remorseless is a fantastic add-on to the opening strike. As this increases the damage that opening strike deals, opening strike is also refreshed when you gain fury, which you will gain fury here when swapping your pets. For the Beast Mastery line, we are looking to improve the capabilities of our pet as well as the command abilities. Resounding Timbre applies additional boons while you gain reduced recharge on those command abilities, which in this build we include Protect Me as well as Strength of the Pack, having reduced cooldown. The two-handed training ability allows our greatsword and spear skills to deal more damage, mainly our greatsword. We also gain fury when we disable a foe, which will also reset our opening strike ability from the marksmanship trait line. We also have lesser quickening Zephyr, which not only cleanses two conditions, but applies quickness and super speed, as well as fury whenever we swap pets in combat. Wilderness Survival looks to improve some of our defensive capabilities. Child of the Earth trait line allows us to cast lesser muddy terrain when we use a healing skill. This not only immobilizes targets, slows targets, and applies crippling, but this also also grants us fury, which recharges our opening strike ability and helps remove some conditions that we may have. We choose refined toxins, which allows our attacks as well as our pets to inflict poison when we are above 75% health. Wilderness Survival improves all of our survival abilities by giving them reduced cooldowns as well as granting fury and condition removal. In this build we have Troll Ungent. Lightning Reflexes, and Quickening Zephyr, which is allowing us to cleanse conditions, grant fury, and be on a reduced cooldown. As far as our Amulet, Rune, and Sigils, we are going to run the Berserker Amulet. This is offensive oriented as we are trying to cause as much damage as we can at a great distance. The Rune of Divinity is just a strong overall choice as this improves all of our stats as well as gaining us 10% of our maximum health. For our longbow sigils, we choose Sigil of Exposure as well as Sigil of Separation. This allows our rapid fire strikes to not only deal incredible amounts of damage, but allows us to also deal more damage to the target that is further away. For our greatsword sigils, we choose Sigil of Energy as well as Sigil of Cleansing. This allows us to remove a condition when we switch to this weapon, as well as offering some endurance regeneration, allowing us to dodge roll more often. Our main DPS opener is going to be utilizing the longbow point blank shot and then following it up with a pet swap which will trigger most of our quickness as well as our fury increasing critical damage and then utilizing the rapid fire ability to heavily damage the target from a great distance. After the longbow combo has been completed and your target is fairly low, you can follow it up with a swap into the greatsword using swoop to get to melee and then using maul to deal incredible damage. Following immediately with the maul, go with a hilt bash which will daze or stun the target, trying to make sure that if you stun the target, which is a hit from behind, that it will also recharge another maul, granting attack of opportunity. So your combo will look something like this. Some situational things that you can utilize is lightning reflexes, which will always make you roll backwards. This applies not only Vigor as well as Fury. This is an excellent disengage ability 
as you can utilize your lightning reflexes ability and then with an about face, turn around and use swoop to run away from the target. Allowing you to cover some great distance very quickly. Remember, a good amount of your condition cleansing comes from these survival abilities. However, you do have three of these abilities which cause some type of stun break. So using Quickening Zephyr as well as Lightning Reflexes pretty liberally will help you yield the best results. The Troll Engine Survival skill, your healing skill, will cleanse conditions and grant fury. However, because you chose the Child of Earth, which creates muddy terrain when you use a healing skill, it will also cleanse two more conditions, as well as granting more fury. Utilizing your Strength of the Pact ability at the beginning of a team fight guarantees that you'll be able to put out some serious damage while most of your targets will be focused on each other and not yourself. The general playstyle of the Ranger is to essentially stay at a distance, utilizing your strong long range DPS abilities, and then engaging when you believe that you can get a kill with your greatsword. You do have quite a bit of mobility thanks to the Quickening Zephyr ability. However, you have to remember that that is a 30 second cooldown, and utilizing it to get to a fight or disengaging to decap a node might be more beneficial than to stay and continue fighting the enemy team. Remember that your longbow 3 button hunter shot applies stealth. This works fantastically to juke the enemy team, as if you can get this ability off, you can completely misdirect them by running a different direction than they are expecting. And don't forget, you do have a 3 second block with counterattack for your greatsword weapon kit. This is a fantastic tool as this can completely turn the tables in any duel. Careful about how much HP your pet has. If your pet dies and then you swap out of it, it will incur a significantly longer cooldown to be able to jump back to them. Best practice is to swap out if you see that your pet is about to die to prevent that cooldown from happening. Alright, let's go ahead and see this build in practice. Do you want to learn more about the Ranger? Click this video here to see the Ranger Profession Spotlight for Guild Wars 2. Stay caffeinated, folks.